Hi, my name is Summer and I'm the Sports Information Coordinator here at Servite. I'm here with Tim Tesselon, the USC Sports Information Director. So Tim, tell us, what are you going to teach our athletes today? Well, we're going to first of all talk to them about dealing with the media, the proper ways to deal with the media, what works, what doesn't work, and um, just how that carries, uh, you know, your reputation on through not only your career here at Servite, but uh, onwards and upwards through, throughout life. Perfect. I can't wait to hear it. I'm here with Jeff Ellinger, a U USC professor, and he's here to talk to our guys about social media. Why is social media so important, especially in today's highly technological world? Well, I think it's a way to communicate with the world, really. I mean, your messages can go everywhere, anywhere. And so it's a very powerful communications tool, and so it's really important to get a good handle on um, just you know, how, uh, how significant communicating is via social media. and as you establish your own profile, your own brand, it's really important going forward that uh, your, your social media footprint is taken with a great deal of responsibility because it's with you for life. That Definitely. And today we're going to learn a lot of very, very important stuff. It looks like everyone's about to get settled, so enjoy the show. <laughs> A couple things that you all have going for you. You're playing on teams that are probably going to be really competitive, probably ranked highly, CIF, in the state, whatever. Okay, You're in the second largest media market in the country here in the Los Angeles, Southern California area, outside of New York City. A lot of media people around here. And Servite has a great athletic tradition of all the people that have sat in these chairs here before you and have done great things on the athletic fields. So because of those things, what you ought to do is expect lots of attention from the media, okay? Some of these are really common sense, guys. Be smart. Be smart on what you say. Think before you speak, okay? It comes out of your mouth, it's hard to get it back in there, okay? Be humble. Don't brag. I mean, it, people don't want it, don't like to hear people who, who are very, you know, brag and aren't humble. So think about that. Important thing here is respect your teammates, respect your coaches, and very important, respect your opponents. Don't talk trash. Don't say stuff that's going to end up on your crosstown rivals locker room bulletin board. That they're going to say, hey, Johnny over at Servite said this about us, man. That's going to fire us up. Don't give them any fodder. For, for that sort of thing, okay? Here's a tough thing. Be positive in your answers. It's not always easy to do that, especially when the media asks you a question that's negative, that kind of seeks a negative answer. So it's upon you guys to take that question, take your answer, if it's a negative question, turn it into a positive response, okay? This is something, I know Jeff's gonna get into this a little after me, but you're building, what you're doing now is you're building your brand, okay? Everybody has a brand as you go through life, who you are and what you're about. And a big way of building your brand starts with the perception that people have of you as they read about you and see you in the media, okay? So how you want to be portrayed is starting now, okay, when you're dealing with the media. What we're going to be talking about is the responsibility that comes with this. These are powerful, powerful communication tools. People around the world can, can read about what you're doing. You can communicate with them. So there's great responsibility that goes with that. Talk about protecting your brand, which is so important. When I talk to the athletes at USC, we talk, number one, about protecting your school, uh, most important. Uh, certainly your team, right there next and then your personal brand. Now, as you get older, as you go through college and beyond, your personal brand is going to become more and more important. But for now, it really needs to be, in your case, Servite, your team if you're on a team, and then your own personal brand. But obviously, it's in concert with your team and your school. Matt Barkley took a trip, you may have heard about it, last spring, and he brought some guys on the, on the football team with him to Haiti to aid um, the, uh, the reconstruction of uh, uh, of, of some of the towns in Haiti after the uh, the earthquake that was there, and you know these are some of the Hayes Pollard and um, Cody Kessler, Devon Kennard, some of the other people on the team that were 
that were just almost overwhelmed by what kind of an experience this was. What a great thing to share with people around the world. American Airlines picked it up. They, they retweeted it to their followers. The U.S. Embassy in Haiti did the same things, congratulating the guys. That's a great use of social media. And just, keep, again, keep in mind you're always being evaluated, whether it's potential employers, scouts, college coaches. They're looking at you. They're looking at your Facebook page, your Twitter page, etc.